It is a container, yeah. Hey, good morning, everybody. We're back in the woods, searching for World War II relics. Maybe we'll even find Hitler's lost gold. You never know. We're here at a, a position, a German position, where late during the war, the Germans were entrenched. Um, I think this was actually an artillery position. I was uh, kindly invited by, uh, by Rene and Jeff. Um, let me just show their Instagram accounts right here if you want to see that. Go check that out. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful wood. Let me just pan you around a bit to show you. And I uh, already saw some positions right there where we're metal detecting towards. And yeah, let's see what we can find today. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you at the first decent find. From that big hole came these two coins. And these are wartime coins, I recognize the pattern. I think they're like 30, 1936, 1940, somewhere in that era. So yeah, actually my first find, so that's promising. I just heard a ooh, but not the ooh that we want, but ooh, uh, like that. Because uh, Rene is over there, in that pit right there, in the trench. And we found something that we rather don't want to find. Because it's always uh, a hassle of reporting these, but we just found a, I think it's an artillery grenade. Has to be, yeah. Uh, German or English, I don't know. Um, we'll leave it at that. We're just gonna be buried it a bit deeper and uh, report it. But yeah, it's a big one. Let me just put my hand there for size. Yeah, I don't want to touch it too much. Let's just uh, put it back, back in the hole and uh, report it. So uh, I've been finding lots of casings, as you can see right there. All the, all the finest casings and I store them nicely in my new Garrett find pouch. It's actually very nice. It got little holes in on the on the on the bottom. So the sand falls out. Meanwhile, Renee and Jeff standing right there did some different finds. First of all, this little British buckle. Um if it focuses, that is. Come on, camera. Well, let me just do like this here. <sighs> like that, a little British buckle. Rene found, very nice. And also this, and um, I didn't know what this was, but Rene and Jeff did, they found this before. It's actually to heat up soup or water. You just stick it in the soup and ignite it or light it up right here and the metal becomes all hot and it heats up the soup or water or whatever you're trying to heat up. So that's nice too. And they uh, told me I could bring these so putting them in my Garrett pouch right there, nice and safe. And last time they were here with Chris from Metal Detecting World War II Battlegrounds, they found a couple of these shell casings, these big shell casings. And uh, we just found a couple of them more. These you know, things are huge. We think this is the lid. Jeez, it's a large one. Did you guys check out the caliber uh, of this uh, of this gun? Did you forgot? <laughs> I think it's. It's German, right? SFH yes, German. 18. SFH 18. Okay. Schwere Schwere Feldhaubitze, 18, and that's the caliber size probably, yeah. 50 cent, Fifty cent. well, you know, I'll, I'll check it out and it's somewhere up there. We'll, uh, we'll explain that what it was. I'll even show you a nice picture of it. But yeah, these are good. We found two, or not me, because I was right there picking up casings back there. And these guys found the big stuff. Is there more? No, can't hear anything. Okay, not too bad. Well, at least we found two more. 
I just stuck my shovel into the ground and as you can see something popped up right there. I think they're British rounds or no, these are German rounds, K98 rounds. I think there's more because there's another one sticking out here. Yeah, there's a whole batch of them. Yeah, all uh, rusted together. Oh, that's a good sign. Is there more? Yes, there's more. Rene just took a look at this and he said, yeah, that's a machine gun belt, what you got there. And could you pick one out where that's really obvious that it's... Uh, you saw it on one yeah, specific one. Yeah, iron here. Well, oh yeah, but I saw one just, oh, just, oh, just here. here. You got one? Ah, right. Yeah, that's, that's uh, MG34, I think, right? Uh, the spring ones. I don't know, I'm not uh, a total expert on this. But it is a machine gun belt. That's why they uh, got the uh, rusted stuck together like that. So yeah, that's actually a pretty cool find. Yeah, that that's it's pretty clear. Well, probably someone in the comments gonna say, "Hey, that's MT42 or 34." I think it's 34, but again, I could be wrong. Yeah. Well, notice the uh, Rene. Thank you. And Jeff is just excavating this very deep pit. And besides my MG rounds, he found something that's. We are quite puzzled about. He found some things like, as you can see right there, like pieces of porcelain and, and glass and such. Um, but he also found this, which really made me think of a Essen cashier or you know the food can, food trays, these little hooks right there. Yeah, this is. We're puzzled about this because we never seen this before. But if someone knows, let me know in the comment. Okay, I'm very curious about what this is. It's bomb day today. We just found another bomb. You can see it's a mortar bomb. Mortar grenade, probably German. You need a small digging tool. Rene, we're just gonna pop it out. Rene's just gonna pop it out. Careful digging, Rene. I think it's a big one. No. No, it's probably small, I think. It would be better to just put your shuffle right here. Yeah, right there. Yeah, careful. Ooh. Well, don't wiggle it too much. Oh yeah, it's a complete one. Yeah. Well, since we're in the reporting business today, we might as well report this one too. Um, I really freaking hate finding these, but yeah, that's just part of the of the thing we do. And uh, I'm just gonna put it back a bit deeper and report it. It's German, right? Yeah. Eight centimeter. Eight, yeah. Oh, this eleven. Just leave it be and uh, well the tail would have been nice if it was just a tail. That's <laughs> something you can bring home. But Rene is uh, digging up bombs all day. I don't know what's going on but oh man, dude, that thing is huge. Uh, yeah, that's a live one again. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh. He's fired. It's fired, yeah, yeah, and the ring is uh, not intact anymore. You can tell by the copper ring if it's yes. fired or not, so that's a dot. So you don't want to mess with that at all. Um, but also if it wasn't fired, you shouldn't be you know, dragging them out. The holes and putting them in your car or such, don't do that, okay? <laughs> Just leave them where they are and report them. As we're gonna do right now. Jeez. Yeah, and another bomb. I really, I really need to be careful here, digging. Um, as you can see here, this is the detonator at the front. And um, I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm even go don't gonna bother digging this out. I don't like finding bombs. And uh, I think it's a really big artillery bomb. A big artillery, artillery grenade. And I'm gonna, not gonna mess with it. I'm gonna leave it like that. Mark the GPS coordinates and just uh, let the professionals handle this because I don't wanna be the one digging this up. But it's a big one, you can see right there. It goes even further. I think it's just like a very big howitzer grenade, artillery grenade, and I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. Bye bye, Mr. Bomb. Jeff is digging deep again, and uh, as you can see right there, and out come more MG ammo. It's been pouring down with MG ammo today. Bombs and ammunition. If you want to start World War III, you can uh, come here and uh, get some ammunition. Uh, it's also this piece of rubber attached to it, which we think is from a jar. So, what else would it be? Like a sealant. sealant. Did, did there, did, did there, uh, uh, is there any glass there? Not yet. No. Oh, okay. Oh, that's odd. Yeah, some some modern plastic. That's really weird too. But well, that was more at the top. So. Oh, I can hear some scraping there. These stones. Ah, these stones. Okay. Well, let's just give him a minute and uh, see what comes up. But there's more at the bottom. There's something big at the bottom. That's why we're all a bit excited to see what comes out. But Jesus, it's very deep. Oh, I'll give you more ammunition. More ammunition? Uh, more ammunition, yeah. But the bar's also something big, right? Oh yeah, I can feel it again. Jeff thinks he hits it and he uh, was able to touch it. And he thinks it's a spare barrel container. The MGs had uh, spare barrels because they overheated so fast that they had to change barrels. And uh, the German th MG34 and the MG42 both had, uh, of course, spare barrels, but also their own containers for that. So, um, well, I'm kind of quite curious to see what uh, what it could be, if it's actually a container. But it would be very cool. Yeah, it did broke in half, oh man. But that's still cool, very cool, fun. It is a container, yeah. MG spare barrel container. Let's see if the barrel's still there too, bro. Well, too bad it's not in the best conditions. Smaller signals probably. This one sounds pretty good. Yeah. Okay. What's the other? Well, deep in the pit, more ammunition comes out, and some of them are actually in pretty good condition. As you can see right here, the markings are very clearly visible.
and um, Jeff just hit some wood like like this um, at the bottom of the pit so we believe this was a part of a of an ammunition crate a wooden crate as you can see here and just well basically it falls apart when I touch it this is all wood so yeah interesting pit so we uh, covered up the pit and the right be besides the pit um, Jeff just found this which is the uh, uh, yeah, what is it called? The, the, the bolt. Oh yeah, of course, the bolt. Jesus, Mike, come on. <laughs> the bolt of uh, an MG34. So, uh, the ammunition you we found just there was also for the uh, MG34. That's a nice find, man. That's gonna clean up pretty nice. Let me show you how the MG34 looked like. To the right, right there. Cool looking gun. Performed very well during uh, World War II, by the way. They used a lot of these to uh, to uh, support their infantry. So yeah, that's a cool find. And uh, Jeff lifts up to his name, his nickname, the Golden Boy. <laughs> Once again, well, you saved the day, man. We're just finding bombs and ammunition. So uh, well done. Yeah, and Jeff is at it again, and uh, he always smiles when we call him the golden boy, but it's true, he always finds the good stuff. Well, show us the, the, the nice people what you found. Uh, Jeff, what is it? K98 ammo pouch. K98 ammo pouch, okay. I think you're right, you can see it there. Well, this root is in its way. Ooh, be careful, Mike. Yeah. Oh wow, it is intact. That is awesome. Oh, there yeah. is some ammo inside. Yeah. See it's too yeah, deep. I can see it. Yeah. Ooh, you can see the strips. Wow, man, good find. Yeah, and just to show you how lucky Jeff actually is, what we are working with, let me just pan out and see what we have to work with. See that? Amidst all this junk, you actually found something cool. Is there more? Yeah, there's more in there. Ah, some more ammo. Yeah, it's ammo. I can see a clip there. Yeah. No. Wow. Oh, this one is empty, and this one is full, and this one is full as well. Maybe this one fell out. Yeah, probably. I'm kind of curious if there's more, because just one, you know, just one ammo pouch. Maybe there's even more, like the belt buckle itself, or more. You missed pouches. the top side of this one. Yeah, you missed the top side of that one. But that's okay. I found them before a lot, but never found them with ammo inside of them. That's uh, actually, when you think about it, pretty weird. Now they're also land nicely marked at the back. I'm not sure if there is any, but they usually are. No, you can't read it. Can't you read it? No, oh, it's too. There's. Probably a 42 or 41 around right there. Oh, that is an awesome find. Again, amidst all that trash that's back there, it's uh, very, uh, very lucky to find that in between all that. 
just to show you a bit of the surroundings there. It's a big, big, big foxhole here. It looks open. Can open my key. Oh, it's up to Jeff to open it, but. Oh, open it up. Okay. I don't want to bring the ammo. So. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Well, there. Wow. Wow, that's a beautiful picture. Yeah. That is awesome. Jeez. Well, the, well, we'll bring the pouches, of course. Cannot bring the ammunition. I know to Americans that's always a, a weird to hear that, you know, that we or Europeans cannot bring the ammunition. Well, it's just simply illegal here to have that on you. Pretty picture. We're just digging around all this trash because what we figured out is that this trash is actually pretty old. One of the bottles, I forget where it was, um, was a former Opecta bubble. And uh, if you've seen my previous video, you know we found those before. Opecta was a, a, a factory in Amsterdam run by Otto Frank. The father of Anne Frank, and uh, yeah, we're just digging around here, see what else we can come up with. And the golden boy just found this. That is awesome. I think that's really old. That's obviously Maria. Some beautiful writing underneath. And, uh, oh, you got a brush. Nice. Need to do it like this, just to, no, 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 just keep it, but I need to do it like this, otherwise the camera won't focus. Yeah, okay, that's it. Is that metal? I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's aluminum or something. I think it's aluminum. Yeah. Yeah. You found it without a detector, right? Just yeah, by digging this thing. Cool find. Well, this is a pretty weird find. I would not think anything of it and just tossed into my bag but Rene uh, found it and he knows what it is. This is a uh, like a device or uh, some, some some tool to uh, to help a British soldier clean his buttons. So uh, oh let me just show it in front of Rene here. What we what he would do is like this and then he could polish his uh, his knob. No his not his knob his button <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so that, that's a pretty cool find. I didn't know that, by the way. And, uh, hope the camera focuses. I think it does now, yeah. But again, I would think nothing of it. Good thing Rene knows his uh, British things. So that was it from us. We're beat. It was a bit, it's been a long day, but it's been a good day. Especially finds by Jeff, so good. Um, you know the the ammo pouches, the ammo, the the the, the spare barrel container. Just uh, was so good. Hope you enjoyed the, our adventure. Have to wave to Jeff because uh, he's in a hurry. Bye, Jeff. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, if you like the video, go subscribe to the channel. It's for free. And if you want to see more, some extra bonus thingies and all. Um, there's a Patreon website, I show some behind the scenes things, some bonus videos, so go check that out if you're interested. Oh, please also go give Jeff and Renee a follow on their Instagram pages. Um, I appreciate it if you would. Thank you my dear patrons, your names are right here and here. 
and uh, thank you all for watching. Take care guys, stay safe, bye bye.